Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Decay and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing monthly horoscopes for June and this is for Cancer. That can apply to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, or if you were just intuitively called to click on this video, there may be some intuitive messages here for you. Um, this is a general reading, so keep in mind that not everything is going to resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest here for somebody else. Okay, so Cancer. I always channel the information before we jump into the cards and what I was picking up on from the collective energy was uh, it was actually interesting. Um, sometimes I hear phrases, sometimes I feel in my body um, or I just get like this knowing but with you guys I really saw the imagery and what I saw was uh, a troop or an army in like um, like the medieval times or the middle ages you know, with swords and armor, and they had their banners flying, and they had their, you know, they were up on their horses on the on the battlefield, and then it was like the trumpets were blaring, and it was like dun dun dun, dun charge, and then everybody just started moving forward, and they're like, you were at the front of the pack, like moving everyone forward, driving everyone forward. So sword raised, soldiers at your side, you're high up on horseback. And um, there was this feeling of like, for glory and victory, to battle. <laughs> it was really dramatic. Um, and then afterwards, I saw uh, like, it, this was um, the person that I was seeing was like a, um, a brown haired male. Um, no facial hair. Fairly tall. And then afterwards, they were in they were in this on a brown horse as well with red and uh, red, white, and gold uh, colors and and like the the banner and the armor and everything like that. And then afterwards, they were in this this like tavern. Um, it was kind of dark and there was candlelight and they were sitting around this like wood like rough wood table and everybody was cheersing. They had these pewter or like silver tankards of ale. And they were all cheersing each other. Um, and there was a guy there with a mustache and um, another guy with a big beard and everyone was cheersing and, and celebrating their victory basically. So then I heard, you shall prevail. The battle is hard fought, but it will be won. So, I mean, this could be somebody's past life coming forward or this could be just like a metaphor um, for victory for the inner battles and winning those inner battles and coming out victorious or this could be something about you moving forward in your life like really taking charge and um, you know leveling up like basically leveling up and winning so let's get into the cards and see what they have to say because this was pretty interesting I don't usually have stuff like that come forward in in the monthly readings. I have stuff like that come forward in, right, in, in Reiki sessions or in personal readings, but that one was really, really specific. So, um, oh, speaking of, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Uh, so I've got the updated prices and some additional new readings. Uh, that I'm providing for you guys and also the Reiki healing sessions which I highly recommend okay and if you'd like to vo uh, follow me on Instagram you can do so I, it's at 2 Kitty and Beyond same handle as my YouTube channel all one word and um, I do little daily updates little card polls intuitive information and the odd specific Instagram special as well okay so Answer June 2019. Let's see what's going on. Cancer current self energy. We got three cards, all major arcana. Wow, so death, temperance, and the world. Interesting. That's the current energy that you guys are coming up as or that you're within right now. So the theme of the month for Cancers. Strength. Yeah, that's what I was picking up on. Awesome. 
and the key goal. Oof. Wow. <laughs> so seven of wands really coming coming to the forefront here. So yeah, very much, very much the channeled information as well. And the Empress was, was kind of sitting on top there. So I'll add that in. Okay, fine. The sun wants to come out too. I kept trying to put it back in, but it kept coming out. So the sun as well for the key goal. That's a lot of goals. So the obstacle to overcome for cancers this month. Nine of swords. Major accomplishment. Ooh. Major accomplishment is the two of cups in reverse. What to avoid? Ooh. Queen of pentacles in reverse. What to embrace? Wow. Um, nine of swords, or sorry, um, eight of swords. Where to find support? Wow, tower. Okay. And the advice and encouragement. Ten of swords, or sorry, wands. Why do I keep saying swords? The two. Well, there's a fair amount of swords here. They want one more for this, I guess. There it is. Ten of Pentacles. That's interesting. Two tens right at the end. Okay, so let's get into it. Cancer, your current self is coming up as death, temperance, and the world. So these are all major arcana. You actually have a fair amount of major arcana in your reading, which tells me that there's a lot of big stuff going on in your life. The, ma the minor arcana, the court cards, and those kind of smaller cards are more about day-to-day -day energy and little people and changes in your life. But these major arcana, it's big stuff going on. There's transformation. There's um, experiencing new things and finding balance within. And it's related to cycles, karmic cycles, past life cycles. Um, this could also be to do with putting yourself out there in the world more. There may be a transformation that you're undergoing as it relates to um, connecting to your past self. Um, your, I'm just feeling so much to do with past lives right now for you guys. So this could be connected to a place in the world. Um, you may feel called to travel to a certain place and then you're picking up on um, information and codes in that location that relate to either a past life that you experienced or some ancestral DNA within you. So what I was seeing, I think, was something to do, um, it's like spiritual conquest. This could be metaphorical, but what I was seeing, if it's related to a past life, because I kept seeing the Hierophant as I was shuffling as well. It didn't come out, but I'm being drawn to the priest here again. So it's very much symbolic of that um, almost like crusades energy. I'm going to have to look up those colors. It was red, white, and gold. Um, so that that's like almost like... Um, oh. Oh, what was what what time period was that in in France and in the Spanish Inquisition something to do with um, like a spiritual inquisition of some kind or like a spirit a, a, a war fought for like the glory of God or something like that not that I agree with that but that's what happened in the past you know we don't have to fight <laughs> to to defend our beliefs anymore and I think that's what's coming up for you guys to be healed so the theme of the month is strength and this is that inner strength coming forward um, cycles being represented again in this infinity sign over her head so you may be connecting through your Akashic records um, which is one of the chakras above your crown and this is very much related to the past so this is what I'm feeling um, this is for somebody specific or a group of people, a group of you, whoever this resonates with, but there's st stuff coming up being activated within you right now in your DNA and in your energy body through your, your Akashic, um, uh, your records, basically, what, what your soul has been through and what your family history is. So maybe it would be interesting to look up um, 
your family history, like ask your parents, your grandparents, if you if there's any history of your ancestors participating in any major wars, um, especially as it relates to um, like spiritual or religious inquisition. Okay, so yeah, so the inner strength is coming up for you as well. This is the theme of the month. It's it's taming that that lion being gentle about it, but taming that lion. So that's that, that base or instinct within yourself. It's that fear instinct, that fight or flight, which may have been, you know, a, a byproduct of that wartime um, DNA within you, you know, or like that wartime vibration that's stuck in your energy field. So you may be in a constant state of fight or flight as like this PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder that's carried forward from all of that war in the past. Like, yeah, you did win that battle, but that doesn't mean that you come out unscathed and unscarred. Um, so the key goal here, we have the sun, which is about healing, uh, enlightenment and clarity. The empress, which is about um, being grounded and neutral, uh, no, not, not, that's not the word I'm looking for, being grounded and nurturing, mm -hmm. connected to the divine feminine energy. And all of these battles were very much about the divine masculine energy. The divine masculine in its shadow sense really wanted to go out and fight. The divine feminine wants to nurture and help things grow and work together. Um, yeah to harvest, to grow the, the wheat and then harvest it. That's, I don't know why that's coming forward for somebody, but the seven of wands is, it's about defending your territory, defending your, your ground. This is about that battle, that, that battle mentality or that symbolic battle that's going on within you or around you with the people. This could be, you know, be, it's linked to something that happened in the past. Um, it's that same, and it's just that energy, that energy of that battle, that wanting to defend your territory or defend your beliefs or defend something is coming forward to be healed and shifted to the more divine feminine aspect of self. And we all have both masculine and feminine. So this isn't anything against man or woman. This is the, the, the nurturing, receptive energy within all of us. It is the sensitive energy that's connected to everything and understands that, that things are um, together in unity. And this is, this is healing that old energy of, uh, of battle. Yeah, so the obstacle to overcome here is the Nine of Swords. So this is very much about um, fear and anxiety and stress around this process of transformation so as this stuff comes up it can be uncomfortable it can cause uncomfortable sensations and emotions especially when you don't know what it's attached to so if you have you know ancestral stuff coming up within your dna or what out of your past lives from your energy field yeah it's tough because you can't quite pinpoint why you feel this way and then the cycles play out in your life in in similar ways um, underlying these similar themes and these archetypes of war and battle and defense um, and attack for your beliefs, like that kind of thing. So this is really coming forward to, to try and help you to release a lot of that anxiety, to release all of that past trauma. This is very much the, the card of PTSD, post-traumatic stress. And this is coming up to be healed. Wow. And it's, um, you may even have nightmares and you don't know where, like, how did my brain come up with that? Well, it's because it's something that's being worked through by your subconscious mind, which is connected to your Akashic records and connected to your past lives and connected to your ancestral DNA. So all of this stuff might be coming up at nighttime um, and you may or may not remember it, but you're feeling these emotions. So the, um, oh, so what's next? We have what to avoid. Oh, no, sorry. This is the major accomplishment. We're at number five. Major accomplishment. Sorry about that. Two of cups in reverse. I'm going to get clarity on this because how is the two of cups in reverse the major accomplishment? How is the two of cups in reverse the major accomplishment?
So we have the Four of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. So it's definitely to do with balance, inner balance and outer foundations that were built on um, a foundation based in, in battle, in deception and wanting to, to win. And this puts you at odds with other people. Because if you're battling, it means you're battling against somebody or something or some aspect of yourself. And all that does is breed separation. We now have to heal that old shadow divine masculine aspect that sought to create the separation and compartmentalize and separate everything and everyone. You know, these people had similar religious beliefs, but if they differed even by a little bit, then it was a cause for, for war. So you know what I mean? It's a little bit excessive. It's a bit much. So now this is coming forward. The major accomplishment is, is going to be healing that. It's going to be healing that separation, the, the betrayal and the war that took place, the making the decision to consciously balance that and come into a place of harmony where we can celebrate together because the real battle that we're fighting now is that old mentality it's the the shadow aspects that are coming forward to be healed so next we have what to avoid and what to avoid is the queen of pentacles in reverse so this is avoid falling into the shadow feminine aspects and the shadow feminine aspects are um, being overly sensitive being uh, being, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Being offended by every little thing because that's breeding separation as well. We want to come into a place of unity where we can embrace the, the light side of the feminine and the masculine. And the light side of the masculine is about action and, um, you know, moving forward, but not progress for the sake of of power over others, but from power within. And the, the, the light aspect of the feminine is all about nurturing and receiving and growing. And it's very grounded and stable. So this is the, the opposite of the, like the queen of pentacles in reverse is the opposite of that light side of the feminine. You know, the light side of the feminine is very grounded and stable. Building these new foundations with the divine masculine together. So if either of them are off, there's going to be an imbalance. And we're being asked to avoid falling into those old patterns as well. What to embrace? This is kind of interesting, embracing the Nine of Swords. So I want to get clarity on that. Or sorry, Eight of Swords. I keep saying Nine. Nine is like about endings. Ten of Wands. So we've got the Ten of Wands two times in this reading. And this is very much about... Okay, all right, I see what they're saying. So they're, em they're saying to embrace the past, to embrace bringing these things up because that's the only way that they're going to be able to be released and transmuted is to have them come up. And you may feel a little bit powerless as this happens because you're not sure why you're feeling this way or why you're having these symptoms or these thoughts or these emotions, but ultimately it really does have to you have to surrender to it instead of going into resistance because if you resist it more it actually uh, it hinders you further if you resist it then you're just piling more burdens on top of your burdens so really what you want to do is surrender and let go so that these things can come up and be released transmuted and cleared from your energy field cleared from your your your, your body um, your DNA rewrite rewrite these codes so that they are balanced um, and loving. And all of this is taking place basically in your mind. All of these limitations are in your mind. And so we have to just free ourselves from those self-imposed limitations and release those burdens from the past. I'm seeing the, the Aztec temple there. This may have been um, something to do with the Spanish Inquisition 
because I believe that El Dorado, uh, the City of Gold, um, Conquistadors, something like that. I'm going to have to look this up after this video. But that's really interesting that this card in particular, I hardly ever used this deck and it was calling to me to use it in the monthly readings this month. So this is probably one of the reasons why is because this is this card has this symbolism on it. Interesting. Okay, so where to find support? We have the tower. Um, and this is very much about the crumbling of old ways of thinking. And I'm seeing in my mind's eye the burning of Notre Dame. That was quintessentially the arch archetypal tower moment. And it represents the crumbling of the old um, oppressive patriarchy. And the, that really stemmed and was attached to religion. Um, not religion in the positive sense, but religion in the, in the shadow side of it. The religion that sought to separate people and to persecute people, to oppress, to limit, and to create battle. There was wars fought and people died for religion. That old, that old way of thinking is crumbling. It's breaking down, and this enlightenment is coming in through the crown chakra and allowing us to come out of all of those old ways of thinking and doing things and come into this new age of enlightenment, this new portal, this pathway, this gateway um, that we're walking through. I was channeling some information um, recently about a peace portal. That's what they keep showing me, like um. Um, this new, this new energy gateway that we're walking through. And it's like this bridge of harmony. We're bridging across all of these turbulent times in our history as humans. And we are healing that as a collective and as individuals. And then we're able to move forward into times of peace. So this all, this all, this old war stuff is coming up to be healed. The last but not least, we have advice and encouragement, which is two tens. So again, tens represent completion and closure of cycles. And the ten of wands specifically came out two times. And this is all about putting down those old burdens that have been stored within your DNA, that have been stored within your energy field, in, in all these this Akashic records the history of humanity is being cleared out and we can see that here with the ten of pentacles which is about ancestry family this is very much related to family so this is stuff that's coming up based on what has happened in our past as a collective in our past as um, individuals and in your past as a soul really really cool stuff very interesting this is unlike any of the other readings. This is fascinating. So let's get a crystal card for Cancers this month. What needs to, or what crystal would really assist Cancers? Chrysocolla, number four. Four is about harmony, balance, strong foundations, building new foundations. After these, these old foundations come down with the tower, we can then build up new ones. Now this card is very powerful. Um, it holds the energy of the crystal within it. So please tune into it as I read the description. And if you have any of this particular crystal or if you want to go out and get some, it would be really helpful for you guys in the month of June to work with. So Chrysocolla is self-love. Tranquil and sustaining, Chrysocolla encourages you to remain serene and strong during change or challenge. Dissolving destructive emotional programming, it increases energy assimilation. You have infinite capacity for forgiveness. Love yourself. If you cannot accept yourself, you cannot give love or accept the love of others. To heal your emotional black hole, connect to the universal love that is inside you. It never runs out. You can then give love out to the world and receive it in a never-ending flow. Forgive yourself. Accept with equanimity what you cannot change. Let go of hurt and rectify situations that can be healed. Be magnanimous. Remain impartial and speak your own truth, but recognize when to keep silent. 
magical rituals may keep you chained to the past. There may be past life trauma to heal around being a woman. Bitterness and self-doubt have no place in well-being. It is good to nourish your body with self-love and gentleness. So that's an interesting aspect coming up here about women. There may be past life trauma to heal around being a woman. See, I was interpreting that as the divine feminine, which I, I, I do very much feel is an important message coming through because the divine feminine is coming up in the form of the empress as well. So we're healing those old aspects of being a woman and integrating new aspects of the divine feminine in the collective for male and females. But yeah, definitely stuff to do with past life here. Past life trauma, magical rituals may keep you chained to the past. So this is needing to cut cords to what happened in the past. So for example, if you took an oath to, to serve um, a certain god or something like that, or if you took an oath to... Um, to serve your king and to do his will and then you went out and slaughtered a bunch of people, that karma is still attached there. There's still this cord that needs to be cut, that needs to be released. This trauma needs to be healed. Um, yeah, this is what's coming up right now for you guys. Holy crap, that's a lot. That's really interesting stuff. Cool reading. All right, guys. Well, um, that was your reading for the month of June. I've never experienced anything quite like that. So thank you for that opportunity to provide this, this intuitive channel message for you. Um, if you would like to delve deeper into this information and release these blockages, clear out that old past life trauma, I would highly recommend either the past life tarot and oracle card reading or a Reiki healing session because Reiki really does bring up the old traumas and helps to release them, cut those cords, break those old magical rituals down so that you can transmute it and move forward, holding more light and integrating these new spiritual aspects um, of strength that you have within you. So, all right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you. We'll see you next month. Bye.